<laughs> you are so silly with your little sun hat on. <laughs> Is it okay if I take a nap on this little Chinese pillow before I make your Chinese noodles? My name is Chan Cheek K, and I care about you very much. I am so shy. <laughs> it is now time for me to make you Chinese noodles. Because I am happy, and I care about you very much. And I am very small, but is that okay? Is it okay if I give you a kiss on your cheek, sir? Is it? <laughs> I'm Asian Bubble Sunny Kim. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. Chan Cheek K takes such good care of you. I want to be your wife. I want to take care of you. I was raised traditionally by a traditional mother and father, and they taught me how to keep a good man. But for some reason, guys in the West don't understand me. I mean, they just want to have sexual relations immediately. They're so used to American girls. I'm confused. What should I do? This one right there. I'm going to get away from her. But before I go anywhere, I'm going to sniff some little flowers. <laughs> to be honest, I'm still a virgin. I was taught to be with one man for the rest of my life and to keep him and treat him like a king. <laughs> Poor Asian bubble, Sonny Kim. She doesn't understand Western behavior when it comes to relationships. But we're going to teach her today, and I know I got a lot of new subscribers. I've literally quadrupled my subscribers in the past week or so. It's crazy. So we got to get everybody up to speed. A lot of Western guys are remiss in this area. They're a little confused, and we got to get them educated. And it's going to get crazy today. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so go ahead. <laughs> to all my legionnaires out there, donkey, punch the like button. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this mother effing video. I chose the vlogging path, as you can see, because kill a couple birds with one stone. I get to get my steps in for the day, not including lifting and running and all that other stuff, but also get this stuff done, plus I get to think of my toes, plus there's a lot of interaction from the outside area, all right? Because, guys, I do these in the real world. There's nothing more lame than some creep rocking back and forth in the dark in his studio. Dude, guys, I can't do that stuff. I just can't do it, man. There's plenty of that out there. The market is saturated with that. It's time to get back to the real world. I know it's ironic because you're watching me on YouTube, but it's the best way to get to your brain and infiltrate. Ugh. Anyway, it's going to be spectacular. You know it will be. <laughs> Guys, uh, there are so many different ways that you're being manipulated at this point in time, but let's just get back to reality. That's what this channel is all about. Let's get back to the real world. Let's get back to pros and cons instead of, oh, buy my dating coach course. Oh, do this. Guys, there's nothing for me to sell to you over here. It really isn't. Send us super thanks every now and then. I really appreciate it. Become a member. Become a Legionnaire level one. Set up a clarity call if you really need help. That's pretty much it. Bing, bang, boom. Link's in the description. Selling you a course. I... I if I, it wouldn't make any sense because the course would be too general anyway. What, what are we going to do? How to make money and all this. Guys, each specific situation is different. We're similar in nature, but that doesn't mean that our situations aren't di different. We have to get to the core root cause of your issue. Not just go ahead and make some blanket course. General courses usually get general results not good enough on this channel we go for quality that's why we go for the quality traditional foreign women see i've tied it all back together anyway today talk about tfws what the hell is a tfw man traditional foreign women oh no bro my dating coach told me all women are the same wrong son your dating coach lives in a fantasy world in a podcast world right most of your little dating coaches have never left the continental u.s 
number one. Number two, when they do, they go to tourist destinations. All right. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, tourist destination is full of a bunch of other Westerners with Western behavior. And the foreign local, the foreigner locals know this. And they're Westernized themselves to deal with Western people. Ipso facto, now you get a bunch of liberal foreign women. Do you get it? Ah, over 40% the entire world lives in rural areas and they are conservative. That's what you guys don't understand. And even a lot of the women in these epicenters are actually conservative. Traditional conservative guys. Guys, there's no such thing as dating overseas. In conservative countries, there's no such thing as that. Dating is a Western concept. Romantic love, Western concept. How's that going for everybody? Waiting. Not so good, huh? <laughs> Let's get back to reality, guys. One of the most interesting experiences that I had was understanding and learning conservative culture and how it's almost universal worldwide because you're dealing with women who have learned how to be great wives from birth. All right. Now, there's trade-offs to traditional foreign women, but there really are pretty much only two different types of women worldwide. And some of them are on the spectrum for sure. You know, they may lean more conservative and still have a touch of liberal ideologies. But at the end of the day, guys, the environment is going to produce what you get. So, for example, one of my favorite places in the entire world, Hong Kong, you guys already know, it's a little bit of east meets west, right? So, there is a whole, what's it called? Nah, it's, it's like a, it's, I shouldn't say a whole street. There's a small street that essentially deals with Westerners, deals with Western ideology, deals with hooking up and dating and all this other nonsense. But the rest of the freaking city... It's pretty traditional, which is interesting, right? Now, what do I mean by this traditional conservative and traditional foreign and all this? Guys, there's trade-offs. I know you want to find a unicorn who's great in bed, but also traditional conservative. It doesn't work that way, guys. There's always trade-offs, period. You want a wild, crazy, nutty experience? You get with a liberal woman. Liberal, domestic or dom liberal foreign, it doesn't matter. Liberal American women are wild. Okay? Liberal foreign women are wild. All right? That's just how it goes. No, you're not going to change them. <laughs> Making a, you know what, a housewife. It's not happening, son. All right? It's not that complicated. But since we have a, not a lot of new subs over here, we're going to get to it. One of the things that I saw when I started my channel is I saw this whole Passport Bros movement, right? Passport Kings phenomenon. And I saw a lot of guys making a lot of mistakes way too soon. Going overseas, looking for love, looking for a wife and all this, and wifing up girls with tattoos. And I'm thinking in my head, you guys are just going after the liberal, the liberal form women. These are ex-you-know-whats. Ex-hookers. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I thought to my... Okay, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. These guys don't know what they're doing we got to start educating and understanding. Because, generally, when you go overseas, again, you're dealing with two different mentalities. And the same thing when you go, when you're domestic. Okay? For example, if you go to a conservative state. Hello, Ling Ling. Oh, I am curious. <laughs> she was cute. She's very, very, she does not want any attention today. Guys, women are very, very obvious with their physical behavior. Now, she saw me, she started whipping her hair, so she was a little curious. But her clothes tell me otherwise. She's completely covered from head to toe. You see what I'm saying? She doesn't want any attention. She's got a baseball cap on. 80% of the communication is nonverbal, son. Anyway, when I started this channel... I realized guys were kind of not very educated. 
and they were doing dumbass things overseas, getting into all sorts of mischief. Now, I'm all for you exercising your right, your privilege to go overseas and do your thing. But you're going to have to understand the two different types of women worldwide. Liberal, and conservative. Traditional, non-traditional. And there's a bunch on the spectrum, yes, but it depends on their environment. For example, again, I go to Hong Kong, the girls are much more conservative. Now, those girls are even considered liberal even over there, and they were much more conservative than the United States. For example, I had Hong Kong nuggets, these little cheap little Chineses, taking me out for food, spending money on me. Did I spend $1 on any of them? Could I have? Yes. One of them even gave me a little souvenir. I was like, oh, this is cute. <laughs> I want you to remember me. And of course, this was kind of confusing to me because I still hadn't, you know, uh, essentially segregated the, uh, the different behaviors, right? But they would tell me long stories about their family, about how their family raised them, about how they have never even kissed a guy before. And I was like, whoa, okay. Some of these girls are really, really conservative. <laughs> really. You know, they want to wait till marriage, bring the man to their, their, you know, their parents. And as I traveled more and more around the world, I realized that these conservative women were very similar. Even, they, even though they may uh, live thousands of miles away from each other and be of a completely different race, ethnicity, whatever, nationality. And then it dawned on me that it really wasn't that complicated. It really wasn't. That the traditional foreign women... Oh, damn. Oh, that guy hit the curb. Oh, oh. Dang. Oh, it's a lady. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, don't hit that car. She might be drunk. If she's not drunk, that would be bad. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see how she parks. She's going to mess up. Oh, she hit the curb again. Uh-oh, I think she's drunk. She's just wrecking her car, man. Anyway. <laughs> That's all that commotion you guys heard. I realized there were these liberal women and conservative. Li liberal or traditional. Liberal or conservative. Whatever you want to call it. The difference was so striking worldwide that I started to realize there really wasn't that much difference when it came to how women are when they're raised a certain way. Eastern European is very similar to... Uh, the Asian ones and the Latin, the Latin ones that are from these traditional countries. There really wasn't much difference. It was just how they delivered their product. Waiting until marriage to have sexual intercourse. Learning how to keep their men. Knowing how to take care of the household. Wanting families. Very similar. And I realized the guys really didn't understand this information. They would go overseas and get with a liberal foreign woman who's got tattoos. She knows how to cook a little. She's got a, maybe a little bit better attitude. She was raised semi-traditional. But they're essentially getting roped into very similar situations. You see what I mean? Now, there's a lot of no-fault divorce overseas. But that doesn't mean that you can't go through an effing nightmare with a liberal foreign woman and get scammed. All right. There's plenty of that. What I wanted to do was show guys and get guys in the mindset of if they are going to get married, if they're going to go overseas for a wife, knowing what to look for, knowing what to expect, and to get ready for some culture shock. Because that's, oh, dang. That squirrel scared the crap out of me. Look at that guy. He's either dead or taking a nap. And I think he's definitely dead. Whoops. It's kind of sad. But um, 
It's not sad for the squirrel. It's sad that I can't eat him. He looks delicious. <laughs> squirrel meat. <laughs> it's all my hillbillies out there. Anyway, a lot of guys go through this culture shock. They go overseas and they, they will literally take the first chick that is nice to them. Right? Because guys are pretty simple, man. They're going to go for it. They're going to do what they got to do. But to understand the deeper underlying nature of these traditional foreign women is paramount before you make a decision. Because the most important thing you will ever do in your life, gentlemen, is mate selection. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, why don't you have a traditional foreign woman? Guys, I've gone over this in several other streams. There's no rush to be with them because they're always being produced every day. Traditional foreign women produced the most, they produce the most children worldwide. So there's plenty of them to go around. And they pass down their knowledge from generation to generation. That's why they will never go out of style, ever. There will never be a shortage. You can mark my words on this, and I never say never, but <laughs> traditional foreign women are never going to go out of style. A lot of people are freaking out, population collapse and all this. How? Yeah, in the West, in the West, there will be population collapse. Liberal women do not want to have children. But that is not the case with conservative traditional foreign women, period. They will always produce the most children. Four, five, six, seven kids per household in India. Okay? That's how it goes. I don't know if I want to go to the beach today, guys, because it's probably going to be a lot of Western walruses beach whales because it is a Sunday. That's when most of the fat and fuglies come out. Ooh. Especially if it's overcast like this. K leaves love the sun. They like it when it's hot. And they can, you know, get tons of attention. It's kind of moderate right now. I don't know. We'll see. Go back to my other videos if uh, there's any lack of K leaves that you need to see. Plenty of K leaves over there. But yeah, it's rough for the little liberal ladies. Because liberal ladies don't procreate. They don't have kids. They don't have enough. The average amount of kids per household for a liberal woman is around one. It's not enough for replacement effect. You need to have at least two. And this is what really solidified everything to me, guys. When I took a couple of these classes in college, and I realized that the liberal foreign women were not procreating. What the hell? This lady is like staring at me. What the f <laughs> with her finger in her mouth? Get the nasty. Ugh. Stop staring. It's rude to stare. Oh man, the beach is packed. I don't know about this, guys. This is not looking promising. You know what? I'm gonna go around. This looks horrible. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know about this. You know what the hell, guys? Let's just go for it. Look at how crowded it is. It is way too freaking crowded. There's some little K leaves down there. Uh oh. K leaves are dangerous. To all my new subscribers, K leaves are dangerous. They try to jump in the video and do little cartwheels and stuff and handsprings and giggling and squealing and can I be in your video and all this stuff. Nah, guys. Most of the time I say no. Sometimes yes, but not usually. Mainly because I don't have time for all that nonsense. There's some little leaves. There's some little leaves. There you go. There's a MILF checking me out right there. <laughs> She's like, oh, this is interesting. There's some little Kayleys for you. I know you guys love Kayleys up there. They were cute. Probably like LA6s. But uh, yeah, guys, it's rough. It's rough for the little liberal ladies. Because a lot of them do want to have children, but they really don't have the skills to keep a man anyway. You know? I shudder. I shudder at the thought. No thawing over here. All right, guys, it might get a little noisy, so we'll see. We'll, we'll take it. We'll play it by ear. But it is absolutely freaking packed today. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it's a little packed today. We'll see. I think I'm just gonna go around everybody. I don't want to be dealing with all these knuckleheads. Yeah, maybe. Uh oh, there's a Jen Z Kelly. She's gonna try to see. What's funny, guys, is when you start. To, if you guys ever start producing content? And you go vlogging, you're gonna get a lot, a lot of people trying to, you know, trying to be cool, trying to jump in the video and all this other stuff. So you gotta be aware. Oh, there's some, oh, 
That's some Kaylee's. Just for you guys. That's three Kaylee's. Mm -hmm. They're curious. See, usually they see me before I see them. About four Kaylee's. Kaylee's, excuse me. Get it correct, sir. Where are you at? There they are. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy bubble. Pulling down their pants. Anyway, what am I getting? Into. TFWs are very different. TFWs, traditional foreign women, keep themselves covered. They don't thought, guys. They don't do that type of stuff. In fact, they will never disrespect you. Now, how do I have so much information on them? Because I've been worldwide, because I've met them coming here. I have met them in their native country. And what's best is, when they are in their native country, they are the most comfortable. Because they are protected by their families. They are protected. A lot of you guys have never experienced this. And that's why, some of you guys, it's very hard for you to even believe me. I get guys here and there that are like, Oh, no way. That's not true. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. It's very true. Okay. These little Kayleafs are curious. But you are not getting the video. You are not of age. So you may not be in the video. <laughs> Sometimes they try to jump in. See, they're waiting back there. <laughs> they're cute. Some of them were just a little too eager, a little too young. But yeah, a lot of Western men are not used to this. A lot of Western men have never even met a traditional foreign woman in their entire lives. So it's very hard for them to even conceptualize that, a tr that there are conservative women or traditional women. That's why you get a lot of these pill guys. I'm this pill, I'm that pill, telling you, oh, they're all the same. No, they're not. They're raised. Now, they may be uh, similar when it comes to instinct or from birth, because most women actually do want to fall in love. Yes, I know this is hard for you to understand. Most women do want to fall in love. They do. They want to love one man for the rest of their lives. It doesn't matter where they're born. Now, after that, they definitely get damaged. They have emotional um, problems after that. Like this one right here with sleeves and tattoos. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that they don't start off all at the same point. Right? They don't start off all at the same with the same uh, mentality. Okay. So for all of you that are skeptical, I totally understand. I do not blame you. But you're going to find more and more of them coming online. Right? More and more channels that essentially start to outline this stuff. You know what I mean? Actual traditional foreign women coming online and telling you about their culture. About how they are going to take care of you and be good wives. It's not uncommon. Guys, it is not uncommon uncommon for you to see them in their natural habitat at all. Like, for example, when I flew into Beijing, oh, some Kayleafs right there. They are curious. Hey there, Kayleaf. I see you, Kayleaf. <laughs> She's looking over. Never mind. She's way up there. You guys can see her. She's looking over the rail at me. She's like, hey, he, he must be famous. <laughs> sometimes guys you can totally tell when girls are it, it's really not hard to tell when girls are interested it's just the problem is sometimes they're just interested in attention you know what i mean there's too many mixed signals in the west guys no cold approach is not something you should go for those days are dead and gone mr dating mr game guy. how come game guys how come game guys are so aggressive and always broke you know what i mean they're always, <laughs> you guys are funny, man. They make me laugh. I have, <laughs> I stay away from all that nonsense. <laughs> anyway, I think what's interesting is when they are in their natural habitat, TFWs, you see much more conservative behavior, quiet, normal, not going crazy every five seconds, throwing tantrums and attention thotting. Anyway, I flew into Beijing, China, and I had a layover until I was going to Hong Kong. And I actually spent more time there than I actually 
thought I would. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Plus my leg, my luggage got delayed and all this other crap. But anyway, so I'm staying in Beijing and I was like, wait a minute, this is actually pretty cool. This is really nice. Because a lot, you know, you hear a lot about communist China and they don't like Americans and all this. But they were actually pretty nice to me. But then again, I am very respectful of other cultures. And I was like, wow, this place is really interesting. You know? And the women and the men both were actually very friendly and I was very polite. I spoke as much Mandarin as I could. I was as respectful of their culture as I could be. And they treated me very well. I got some priority treatment. I was like, dang, this is really, this is not what I expected. You know what I mean? Hey, Kaylee, what do you want? Oh, I'm curious. Oh, I'm curious. I keep checking you out. Yeah. Maybe I'll follow you. <laughs> Kaylee. Kaylee's a funny man. They're not quite Karens yet. She was, she's not quite a Karen yet, but she's definitely a Kaylee. She's curious. <laughs> yeah, so they were nice to me. And what I found fascinating is that the women were incredibly incredibly conservative right it's very strict country very strict ideologies but at the same time they were very pretty and i was like oh okay that's how it's going to be very conservative very strict uh, very well disciplined and what was interesting is i started having conversations with these people and some of them spoke very good english i was like dang and i started having conversations with these people and I realized that most of them were not single at all. In fact, it was seen as almost, almost like you're an outcast if you're single. Like you're the weird one, you know? You're the creep. Do you see what I mean? And what I found interesting is the amount of virgins that I met in this country was way more than I had ever experienced in my entire life just in general. And it wasn't shocking, gentlemen, because I knew they were a conservative society. What was interesting to me is how much value they put into the family unit. How much togetherness means. How much raising good children and keeping your, your daughters away from being, you know, thoughts and prostitutes. I thought it was just fascinating. It was insane. And what was really crazy was that the separation between liberal and conservative women was vast. If a woman was liberal, you knew it almost immediately. If a woman was conservative, you knew it immediately. Because if she was liberal, she was normally deemed, you know, a hooker or a thought or this and that. That's just how it was. So I learned a hell of a lot being there overseas. Like these little thoughts, these little Kaylee's, <laughs> curious, <laughs> the middle one, the middle one was my type, she was curious, <laughs> this, this Kaylee's really trying, she's killing the game, look at her, killing the game, go Kaylee, go Kaylee, she's trying, she, I can see that, that look of determination in her eyes, I'm impressed, keep it up Kaylee, I'm proud of you, she's got that fire, anyway, the liberal ones would dress much more outrageously and they would normally be escorts, hookers, etc. Because in certain areas of China, prostitution is legal. All right. And then, of course, the conservative girls would not be caught dead with the liberal girls. Hell no. In fact, they would make it very apparent that they would never be caught dating, going out with a bunch of guys, having guy friends, etc., etc. Guys, the conservative women in these other countries don't play around. What I'm getting at it is a lot of you guys are scared that Western behavior is going to spread worldwide. Oh, no, it's not, son. When you go to these other countries, you realize real fast the West is like a joke to them. And that's one of the main reasons why a lot of these conservative countries are not very keen on the West. They're not interested. 
They keep themselves insulated because they know it's a bunch of BS. They know it's a bunch of garbage. And I don't blame them. That's probably why I got along with them. All right? Yeah, it'll blow you. Guys, it's really going... I know a lot of you don't want to leave the West because you're lazy and or you think it's all the same worldwide and all this other crap. But if you really want the best, you're going to go have to have to go international. Period. End of story. You're going to have to do your research. You're going to have to get out of Dodge. And the best part is, you'll be a lot happier. Holy effing mackerel. So anyway, I'll tell you a couple of stories while I was in Beijing. There was actually a, a woman that I knew in Beijing already that I had met at USC, ironically, in, um, in America. And it's funny because she was a virgin. She was, con she was considered more liberal, but she was still a virgin, raised traditionally. It, it was crazy, guys. And she understood. We were just friends. And uh, yeah, she told me a lot about the city, and I learned so much about their mentality. And even Beijing, not necessarily the most conservative of all Chinese cities, but full of rich culture, dancing, and you know, performing arts and all this. Oh, little Kayleys. I'll show you guys a couple of Kayleys in a second. We're playing volleyball. It's fun. <laughs> it's still bubbly. Hello, Kaylee. Kayleys love playing volleyball, guys. They like bouncing on the freaking, you know, on the sand. Anyway, so I'm in China, hanging out in Beijing, and had the best, some of the best noodles I've ever had in my entire life. Some of the best noodle soups. Having a good old time. Having just a good old time. And it was just spectacular, man. I was having fun. This old ass lady was just trying to jump in my video. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. She was just tailing me. You didn't talk about China. Oh, got my freaking face, dude. I've never had anybody be too rude, though, when I'm vlogging. I just give them a funny look. They give me a funny look. Get out of my face. Yeah, Beijing was good. It was a good, it was a good, it was a good amount of culture shock, but I was kind of prepared for it. I was just, I was just a little surprised at how at the airport, everyone was beautiful. <laughs> These tall, beautiful Chinese women, the TSA agents were not fat. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I was like, holy, what is this? Can I get your number? Oh, you are so aggressive. I am turned on. <laughs> Oh, that was great. That was a great introduction to Asia for me. And then I knew, I knew it was all going to be uphill. You know, I knew it was going to be uphill. So, yeah, I get to Hong Kong. Now I'm in the, the thick of it. East meets West. I'm learning the culture. I'm like, oh, now I get it. You know, I go to all these little t Chinese shops. And Cantonese is a tough language, guys. Holy mackerel. But I, I don't know how, guys, I always go to these countries where I, I can, <laughs> I can barely get by. And I always figure it out. <laughs> I always, <laughs> I kind of just like wing it, but I learned some stuff, but it's funny how I always <laughs> figure out. <away. laughs> like I can't even, <laughs> Cantonese is spoken by 90% of the population there. And my crazy ass, I always figure out how to, how to get around. I just, you know, <laughs> It's just amazing, man. I had, a, I had such a good time. And I could not believe how nice and friendly everybody was. And just easy to, to get along with. And I had a couple, you know, dinners and lunches and brunches with different Chinese families. Not just little Chinese women, but families as well. I could not believe how friendly they were. I mean, how awesome is it to connect with real families when you go over to another country. It's just spectacular, man. Just unbelievable. Just spectacular. And then I had these little Chinese nuggets who took me out. These little pretty Chinese girls. And I was shocked. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Th th this gotta be a, this gotta be a catch. But the more I spent time there, I spent almost a full month. 
I was like, dang, okay. Because guys, you got to spend more than a week <laughs> at these destinations because you're not really going to understand the culture the first week. First week, you're just trying to get your bearings. You're just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. You're, too, you're like, where am I? I'm like in a in another universe. You know what? I got to go uphill. I'm going to go all the way back, guys. I'm getting tired of this crap. And I just stepped in the sand. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go uphill. This is too many normies out today. It's going to get on my nerves. I can already tell. And that's, that's really what I'm getting at. You can't even talk about conservative families in the West without people giving you the side eye. Like you're some sort of creep. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I had several of these ladies show me all around and I was like, damn. But also I'd go off on my own adventures and I'd go running through the city. It was just spectacular. And it was safe. You see girls walking around at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. I'm like, what the hell? Scratching my head. You know, just living in paradise, man. It's freaking amazing. So what am I getting at? This isn't uncommon in conservative cities, conservative countries, Latin countries, Asian countries, Eastern European. Guys, this stuff is very common. Even when I was in Europe and I didn't get to Eastern Europe, Western Europe had a lot of this, um, uh, what's it called? Conservative mindset. In fact, the West is probably the most liberal out of all of these countries. Because even in Ireland and Scotland, I was like, oh, okay, these people are more conservative than I thought. It's a trip, guys. And that's really what I want to get to. Is TFWs are amazing, guys. They're just freaking incredible. It's just so amazing. And by the way, they do come to our countries all the time. And yes, they will be, there will be a lot of mass immigration coming soon. But if you guys want to ham up family soon, the laws still have not changed here. That's the problem. You're going to have to go to a conservative country, whether you like it or not, if you want to have a family that lasts forever. And I know, I know you don't want to hear it. I know you don't want to do it. I know you don't want to learn a new language, a new culture, but that's just the way it is. You bring her here, and she's going to be miserable. Even if she stays with you, she's going to be sad. She's not going to be a happy nugget. Okay. I've met countless traditional women who have came to the States. Countless. Most of them go back because they do not like the ideology here. They just don't. They don't like the thoughting. They don't like the insane, wild behavior. Guys, they don't like this stuff at all. They don't want to thought it up. <laughs> they do not want to become just another notch on some dude's belt. Okay? That's not how they're raised. <sighs> yeah, it's wild. And that's the thing about these other countries. These other countries will welcome you with open arms if you have a conservative mentality. In fact, they're going to help you understand the culture, gentlemen. They're going to bring you into the family and protect you, which is incredible. <sighs> it's, just it, it's, it's just a big time relief. And that's why I'm not stressing out, guys. I don't stress out about TFWs at all. Traditional form, guys, I don't stress out about this stuff. Before, I thought, oh, man, it's going to be so hard if I ever want to get married or have children or do any of that type of stuff. And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Overseas is just spectacular. What am I? There's nothing to worry about. It's spectacular. And not only that, the cost of living overseas, don't even get me started. It's way less expensive than here. So, yeah, I guess it, it's, it's just a breath of fresh air. And I want you guys to know that it doesn't have to be all or nothing, right? It doesn't have to be one way. And here's the best part. You don't need to make six figures. You don't need to be high value. You don't need to do all this crap that you're told you need to do and have six pack abs and all this nonsense. Okay? You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is be a good guy. 
and everything else is pretty much a slam dunk. All right? That's what I want you guys to know. Donkey, punch the like button on the way out. Figure the subscribe button, comment in the comment section. Become a Legionnaire level one. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Kaylee. Mm -hmm. I'm Kaylee. I'm curious. <laughs> Kaylee. Kaylee was looking. Kaylee was with her, with her mom. and They're amused by the guy who is doing his little, his little vlogging. Share this mother effing video. Become a legionnaire. Do it. And understand that there are options out there, gentlemen. In fact, you've got the options. Not the little liberal American ladies. They don't have options. They do not have as many options as they think they do. In fact, they have the least options out of everybody. That's right. Sorry, American girls. You don't have as many options as you think you do. Oh, yeah, I do. I go on Tinder. I go on Bumble. I get swiped up. Turn off your stupid-ass phone with all your virtual options, by the way. Virtual means fantasy. Tell me, I want you to write down in the real world how many options you really have. Waiting. Exactly. Fantasy sounds great, doesn't it? But in reality, you don't have as many options as you think you do. And that's why you're failing. It's that simple. It's unfortunate. Hey, Kaylee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, guys. There's Kayleys everywhere. Kayleafs. A few Kayleafs, but mainly Kayleys. Kayleafs come during the week. They're younger. More bubbly, more bouncy. Doing, you know, cartwheels in the sand. But yeah, unfortunately to my American girls, you don't have as many options as you think you do. Because virtual options mean absolutely nothing. See, here's what a lot of guys don't understand. Is the TFWs just want attention and validation from one man. That is it. Because they know they can keep a man. American girls know they can't keep a man. That's why they try to get attention from everybody. Ouch. It's sad, guys. It's really sad. They did it to themselves. And of course, we played our part as well many, many years ago by letting them go out here and destroy themselves. But... Not our problem. Nothing we could do for them. I go over this ad infinitum in other videos, so. Yeah, we document and cover that well. So, stick with your traditional foreign women. You guys are going to be a lot, lot, lot happier. Until next time, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you, so let's get to it. <laughs>